Hi and welcome back to Africa Rise Interactive. Now that we have uh, done all that we have done in terms of uh, introduction to video production, we need to begin to get started with DaVinci Resolve, but we don't necessarily have to run out and install DaVinci Resolve without doing something important. As we have said in the previous videos that DaVinci Resolve cannot work without a graphics card. That definitely has to be done before you do the installation, because if you just rush and do the installation without the graphics card, definitely you won't go anywhere. Your system will not work because DaVinci Resolve is DaVinci Resolve. But if you've got Adobe Premiere, you can go ahead and do the installation of Adobe Premiere and work on that slow system without the graphics card. However, without DaVinci Resolve, it's totally a different story altogether because as soon as you are done with the installation of DaVinci Resolve, for you to begin to open it up, it has to first detect if you have a graphics card installed. If it doesn't find a graphics card installed, it will not proceed on with opening so now when you buy this graphics card and you do put it in your computer that does not guarantee that you have maximum performance there is something that you need to go ahead and do in your computer the first thing that you need to do is to go on to the website of the manufacturer of the graphics card that you have installed if you have bought nvidia you have to go to the nvidia website if you have got sapphire if you have got radeon uh, amd you have to go to their website and download the drivers and install the drivers on the system or on your machine or on your computer and what are the drivers all right it's basically a simple software which you install on your pc but which works with the graphics card so the manufacturer of the graphics card also uh, created or developed a software that works hand in glove with the drivers and once you have installed the drivers as you are looking in the i'm going to put the nvidia website uh, in the link below and if you are using a different driver or a different nvidia a different graphics card it is going to be basically the same with what i am going to make of the explanations that are following i have seen uh, different videos on youtube people tweaking the control panel on the drivers but not basically explaining what exactly each and every uh, configuration does it was just an explanation of say you take this one ambient occlusion you put it on uh, this and this you put it off but without explaining why exactly we have to put it on and why exactly we have to put it off and why exactly we have to put it either application controlled or adaptive or whatever configuration that you make so the reason i'm creating this video is because i want to make it clear so that you understand the reasons we have to do what we are doing in the nvidia in amd radeon uh, software in terms of uh, configuring the software or the drivers why are we configuring the software the way we are configuring because the purpose of configuring the control panel of nvidia or of amd and uh, drivers is because we want maximum performance if you are installing your graphics card for the purpose of playing games maybe you need something different performance you also need quality as you are visualizing your scene in the game you need maybe quality or maybe you are a 3d artist using softwares like cinema 4d you also need quality but the main purpose of using davinci resolve and the graphics card is because we need maximum performance the quality in davinci resolve is determined when we are basically doing the something like uh, color grading and in terms of color grading we are only or we are basically controlled by the vector scopes or the parade the color settings in davinci resolve not by the graphics card so we don't mind what we need is maximum performance so we are going to configure the nvidia graphics card or the nvidia control panel for maximum uh, performance so 
follow me right away and let's get right into it and let's explain everything why you have to do what you have to do and basically for the best of the performance of your machine once you want to use softwares like davinci resolve after effects adobe premiere you definitely need a graphics card or maybe you want to do 3d design and so forth you need a very good graphics card and the, the one of the best graphics cards that we normally use is nvidia graphics card and the, once you put the graphics card in your computer that is not the end of the story and the, that does not determine the fact that you will have maximum performance you need to go ahead and download the drivers and install so what we are going to do in this one is a uh, we're going to the link for nvidia website is gonna be put in the description so that you'll be able to follow the link and download the drivers according to your according to your system or according to your graphics card that you have bought now once you have done so you just go ahead and install to install is simply you just go where you have done put it in the downloads you right click and click run as administrator so once you run and install as administrator you'll find out that you have something like this all right you have something like this and you can also have something like this if i right click here this one is not visible but if i right click i can see nvidia control panel so these are the two things that come out and i would just like to demonstrate how they work okay so now we are going to start with this one over here once you install here if you come under drivers if you right click over here you find out that you have got two kinds of drivers that you need however you need one of the two not both of them so if you are doing things like video production 3d artists and so forth you need studio drivers for the studio it provides the best experience for creative apps creative apps that is to say all the applications that are used for creation of certain things graphics designing video production 3d design and so forth you are able to use the studio drivers if you want to just have a, a good experience playing games you need the game ready drivers All right so in this one you choose studio drivers once you choose studio drivers you go ahead you come over here you click download it will actually download the latest version and be able to update so if you go to the website and you don't really know what to do just download and after download you come to the geforce experience then you download the up-to-date drivers according to your needs but what you need to do is you have to log in use your email as you can see over here i've got what my email so you can only have access to download these studio drivers or the game drivers after logging in using your email once you do like that you can now go ahead and close this and after having closed this we come to this one now let's talk about this one as we have actually talked a little bit briefly you should know what exactly you want to achieve with your graphics drivers or your graphics card if you want to achieve quality you should always lean towards the side of quality if you want to achieve performance to render things faster image processing when you are doing your color correction color grading you need to make sure that uh, you choose performance over here the first thing is adjust image settings with preview you need to first click over here you take it to the side of performance if you need performance if you need quality you lean it to the side of quality if you need both you have to put it on the balance side for me i need insane performance so i better leave it to performance then you click apply after that you come over here and i use 3d image settings 
you need to click this one and also click apply having done that you click take me there so we are now on the second tab over here under here it could be tricked for many people i have watched many video tutorials on youtube and uh, i realized that uh, most of the people they don't explain what each one of these does and the, that's where the madness comes because you need to set these things according to your preferences do you need performance do you need quality so when you hover over each one of them you can find some few notes down here for instance i'm hovering on image sharpening it simply tells me down here over here look, look it says 10 image sharpening to increase the sharpness of your application use sharpen to adjust the level of sharpness use ignore film grain to reduce over sharpening in application that use film grain this feature increases level of sharpness detail and clarity of your application so it only it increases things like sharpness and quality of details on the application this is what it does over here so this is when you need to determine whether you want to turn it on or off so because of that for me i basically just want it to be on because i don't see any effect that it it has on my performance or on my quality so it is kind of a uh, neutral and it just gives me the details of my software which is something i may desire so i just go ahead and click ok i turn it on all right then over here ambient occlusion on ambient occlusion i've got two choices quality and performance do you want quality or you want performance for me personally a uh, performance so i choose a uh, performance in, in in this regard then anisotropic filtering there are things that are that we need to understand over here anisotropic texture filtering affects the crispness of textures the image will be less blurred at higher settings however you may experience a decrease in performance all right so that means to say the higher the settings the higher the image uh, quality but the lesser the performance you get this so you need to choose what you want so in this regard i just want to choose a choose application control because i want my application to be able to determine because the, i need performance so this is what i would like to choose then over here anti-aliasing fx aa what does this do turn on to improve image quality with less performance then turn off if you notice artifacts or differing around the edges of objects particularly around the uh, text so what it does is if you turn it on it will give you a uh, image quality but less performance so i would rather choose to put it off because i need what i need performance preferred to quality all right select on to improve the quality and color of 3d images if i put it off i want to also know if it has got any effects on my uh on my performance so in this regard it doesn't show that it has got any effect on my performance so i also need the quality of my images so let me just leave it on all right so now what do we do we come down here on analyzing mode on analyzing mode if you want to control the application settings from from within the program use the application control settings override application uh, does not have the built-in if the application does not have the built-in analyzing uh, settings so in this regard i would rather make it to what application controlled now let's move on to analyze the transparency multi sampling provides superior performance and super sampling provides superior quality it is as clear as that so i want multi sampling for superior performance so uh, i can just put multi sample over here now over here 
background application maximum maximum frame rate this one will just eat a lot of uh frame rate it will just disturb your application load time and so forth so sets the maximum frame rate that the gpu will render a game or 3d application running in the background we don't need applications to keep on running in the background in this case we just put it off it's better to put it off could the gpus it is all about your gpu how it works so you only need to select your gpu over here and press ok and it will select your gpu so that your your gpu will be used to the maximum then the dsr factors this one before we talk uh, before we choose anything over here let's look at what it does again improve the quality of analyzing on games that do not have the in the that does not have a in game analyzing settings for games where in game analyzing is insufficient enjoy better image quality for all the games so in this one we just want to choose it to be at four times a native resolution all right so that he, he, your quality of images will be that clear now over here it's as simple as it is dsr smoothness what kind of smoothness do you want lower value lower value produces a sharper but more allies image high value produces a smoother but blur or image so we need this one to be at a higher value now we go ahead over here we leave it at 100 percent over here okay and the over here latent low latent mode what does it do select off to prioritize render throughout by allowing games to queue and the over here select on to prioritize latent by limiting queued frames to one select ultra to, uh, to prioritize so this one also has to do with how uh, your graphics card has to work so for me i want maximum sets maximum frames frame rate that the gpu will render okay it will set the maximum frame that your gpu is able to render so you need your gpu to render as many frames as possible as a very shortest time possible so that you have a speed in your production over here max of maximum a uh, maximum frame rate what is the maximum frame rate and what does it do and what should we choose and the over here you can see we have got on or off and by the at the present time is a uh, labeled on off let's see what it does let's read over here sets the maximum frame rate that the gpu will render a game or 3d application so it simply sets the maximum frame rate that the gpu will be able to render a game or 3d application limiting the frame rate can be useful for extending battery life if you are doing that on a laptop or maybe you want to save battery life just put it off but if you know that you are operating on a computer plugged on a cable why do you have to put it off because you want a maximum performance so for maximum performance let's put it on and over here you can even choose 100 frames per second and it's as big as that multi frame symbol the aa works by reprogramming coverage simple location across pixels within the same frame as uh, well as across frames this is the effect of making the overall symbol pattern irregular with the which eliminates analyzing artifacts so let's just put it on because it has to do with our what our performance and from there open gl rendering gpu now you just need to choose the graphics card that you are using over here if you've got a, a two graphics card it should be able to show you should not choose auto select because auto select means that it, sometimes the application may not use or may not choose or may not select the graphic side of which you don't need that to happen so let it be selected and power management mode you need to use uh, 
we need what we call we have what we call adaptive maximum performance and optimal power so what do we need over here enable the cage reduces shutter and improve load times disable the cage to save uh, a disk space and over here and the, if you over come over here choose the choose the more powerful gpu to render an application render different application or different gpus so over here it's quite tricky if you don't understand the difference between optimal and maximum performance so for now i just want it to be at optimal performance optimal all right now let's come to shader catch enabling the catch reduces shutter and improve load times disable the catch to save disk space if you want to save disk space you don't want uh, your program to be given a lot of things you can do that but uh, reduce cpu usage by saving compiled shaders to a disk space this one will also make your gpu render faster so you also need this one text filtering and negative lob bias you should set allow for higher performance on this one set clamp when anisotropic filtering is enabled for better image quality so you can also go back to look at anist uh, ani so tropic anisotropic filtering if you have enabled anisotropic filtering on you need to turn this one on okay so it works together with any store filtering we said it's application controlled over here we did not turn it or we choose we did not choose on so over here because we want performance we should just choose it allow all right now over here texture filtering higher texture filtering quality what do we want if you turn it uh, on high quality what will happen you are actually saying you want your textures to have a high quality if you choose performance what you are saying is you need your textures to be processed at a very high speed texture filtering select a high quality will turn off all the texture filtering optimization in order to provide the highest visual quality so it has to do with visuality how you see you see quality but when you are rendering do you have performance definitely you don't have you it will be the opposite as you can see if you come over here if you say high quality select on for higher performance with minimum loss in image so you select on for higher performance in this regard we just want it to be on higher performance now let's go ahead to texture filtering a uh, tree linear optimization texture filtering tree linear optimization select on for higher performance and select off for the best image quality we need it to be on because we need performance so you get the sense of what's happening over here then three that optimization what do we want most new applications should benefit from the auto or on settings the settings should be turned off for most of older applications so what kind of application are you using if you're using an application which is older you just have to choose off if you are using a latest application you should put it on auto so that it automatically select triple buffering turn on this setting improve performance so you can hear that it improves performance so you need to turn it on and from here vertical sync vertical sync vertical sync off allows gpu to render un unconstrained by refresh rate and the if you turn it off it allowed what a gpu to render and constrained by refresh by refresh rate and will span out from multiple rendering if you turn it on it limits the gpu render rate to maximum refresh uh, rate of the display and avoids tearing however can have ledge can have longer latency and lower performance due to render rate limits so we need to put it off because we don't want our rendering to be 
limited. And here, if you turn it, increase this value may improve performance at the cost of increased latency. This setting does not apply to SLI. In this regard, we just want to choose it to be at one because virtual reality basically it has to do with the when you are playing games and you want to see the reality of things in your 3d scenes but for in this sake we don't bother much about this one so we just put it over here on one just like that and the over here variable uh, virtual reality variable right super assembly just turn this one off because we are not going to uh, need this so much once that one is done click apply once you click apply your graphics card may cause your screen to blink sometimes i don't think i think this one of mine is not blinking because i had actually a uh, search these settings now from there you may also need to choose your softwares and actually add them over here but it, right now what's happening is uh, they are already uh, in use because the gpu is always here to use the global settings for you and when this is done what you need to do you need to go ahead and look at the configure surround uh, fix this one it has to do with uh your gpu so the only thing that you need to do here you don't need to select auto select you don't need to select cpu unless you don't have a graphics card you just need to select your graphics card over here and that's it no now let's come to change resolution we want to use to change the screen resolution basically for me i have two screens in question over here and the, my pc is connected to two screens and the, now i have the asus screen and the i have the asus screen and the asa and my screens are totally different so let's configure each one of them and you'll be able to see how you may be helped with yours on this one i just on choose resolution i just want you to choose on native don't use a bigger a resolution than the native resolution just choose the uh, native resolution over here and once you do that on a refresh rate you need to choose the highest possible you see i have got 50 uh, 59 and 60 so i have chosen a uh, 60 and on this one you need to choose rgb 32 bit and the uh, rgb over here and over here leave it at 8 bit over here you don't need to select limited you need to select full color ranges and you choose apply all right and uh, from there i come to the next screen you see that what is on this screen is not what is on this screen because of the qualities and the the the, the, the actually the definitions of the screens this uh, main screen has got a very high definition and it, it provides realism of the screen and it can even play 4k videos but this one it can tend to be tutoring and so forth and you can see that it's been it's a resolution is just 1280 this one is 1920 by 1080 all right and over here you have to select the native and choose the highest possible and 75 the refresh rate over here you have what 32 and you choose apply and that is it all right going forward you have to adjust the desktop color settings over here you don't need to do much but uh, it could be that for some of the screens you will find that it needs you to first select uh, the nvidia graphics card over here there will be a choice for you to select uh, the graphics card but uh, on this one it, it automatically selects and uh, it is actually good it depends with your the kind of computer that you are using with the previous computer that i was using it was actually uh, indicating me to choose the graphics card here or not to choose so you can go ahead and choose the graphics card if you want your color 
uh, the colors that are displayed on your screen to be determined by the graphics card if you don't want you just leave it like that because you want uh, the, the, the the computer itself the intel hd drivers to be able to determine all right so now uh, i have uh, configured my screens differently over here you can choose full screen video on software but for me i want it to be auto and over here you see that there is no options that are like here because we are using different screens so usually just leave it on where it is if you've got good screens like uh, the one i'm using this first one if you've got uh, screens that you don't understand you can even leave it at 50%, 50%, and the, the gamma and the digital vibrance and so forth, these ones don't touch them. But it is encouraged for you to leave it the way it is. I have, however, increased the contrast here because I was just wanting to see what will happen. But for now, let me just leave it right to 50% and click apply. And your screen may blink for once and the from there let's move on to display rotate display over here you can do this if you want to rotate your screen but uh, for me i do not want to rotate my screen if i click apply you can see what will happen my screen rotates like this one and i would like to hit enter to choose no and my screen will blink and come back to normal all right so I will take my screen back to where it was on landscape and that's it we don't want to work on that one and over this one view hdcp status it only has to talk to you about your screen your screen compatibility with the graphics card and over here you can see this high bench with the digital content protection hdcpu is hdcp is a technology designed to protect high definition content use this page to determine if your system uh, is compatible or capable so if your system is capable you see that it is showing that it is capable but if it's not capable it will be able to tell you that it's not capable that is why you are not seeing the other uh, screen over here because my other screen is not compatible with the piece but on the other screen it's compatible and if you've got if your screen has got uh, speakers in beauty speakers on the screen you are able to configure the audio over here all right and from there let's move on because this one is not much of importance you can see it's, it will be easy for you to see all right now let's go ahead and adjust desktop size and position on this one you'll be able to adjust your desktop size where exactly do you want your desktop to fit in but in many cases you find that he, by default it is in the right uh, frame using the current resolution of the screen or the native resolution so on this one we don't want to touch a lot because by default it sets you well now going on set up multiple display set up multiple display now here you'll be able to determine which which of your screens would come first by dragging and changing them positions like this and you click apply but for me i just want a uh, the small to be small and the bigger to be bigger okay so you click apply over there if you wish to and i don't want to to change that now from there we come to one of the things that you need to be uh, to be understood adjust color settings on here i have chosen to use the nvidia graphics card because i need my colors even if they are deep, being displayed to be determined by the, the graphics card and so this is what why i have chosen the uh, nvidia graphics card over here if you don't want you just choose this one and once you choose nvidia graphics card over here you've got two options it says limited 16 to 235 you need to choose 0 to 225 to have the full rgb scopes if you don't understand this you should wait until we post the graphics designing introduction we will be talking about the color theory so that you understand what this may mean and over here on gamma leave it like that and over here leave it 
the way it is and just go ahead and click apply and over here if i come to the other screen you can see that we can also set the same thing and click apply and finally we are here let's talk about the adjust video image settings over here when the image or the video is being played how does it appear or if you open an image how does it appear you can choose to choose the graphics card to view your images or videos through the graphics card or you can choose not to all right so now for me i just leave it like that because i haven't seen any effect that they pose on my images or on my videos because my screen i believe i'm satisfied with with what it is thank you very much and for watching subscribe if you haven't and share like comment ask questions and together let's learn that which will take us to the level we so desire